Hello, lately I've been doing quite a few assets for City Skylines and for me it is very important to be fast and efficient in Blender to speed up the workflow and for that reason I learned a bit of scripting for Blender and I coded myself um, an add-on for uh, the most used functions that I usually do when I uh, model or unwrap a model for City Skylines. Uh, to install the add-on you go to preferences add-ons and then you click on install and you find uh, wherever you download the archive you do not have to extract it uh, just click on install add-on and then check it here and the add-on is installed uh, the link is going to be in the description it's going to be on my discord but i can also post it on github in case you don't want to join my discord that's completely fine but i definitely recommend you to do so so i can help if you have any problems with the add-on now let me show you how it works everything is revolving around the key d on your keyboard so if you press d we have those options and if you want to speed up your workflow even more you can press d a all those shortcuts here on the left to speed up uh, you know add a cube instead of uh, clicking with your mouse. You can press DA and you have the cube. I will go quickly now over the main functions of the script so you understand what it does. Uh, it's going to be like a short tutorial. So once, when we are in object mode, you have only those three options. When we tab into edit mode, we have way more options and this is where the main menu is. Um, simply, uh, the switch viewport is basically switching between uh, the following buttons here because to me it's very annoying to always move the mouse here and then I misclick and so on and so forth. So I really wanted to add this menu for me. And if we use the shortcuts, like I'm doing everything here from the keyboard, so it's very fast. Uh, then we have the faces menu, and uh, you know that sometimes when you when you model, you have some faces which are inverted like this and those will be invisible it's very important to be uh, aware of those and if you wanted to flip this the normal way would be to press alt n to open the normals menu and then click on flip so that's quite a, a waste of clicks and yeah so instead we can just uh, let me just flip it back so we can just go to faces menu and flip normal so the dw1 very simple then if we have a face selected we can subdivide it and then we can enter the parameters here that we want very simple um, in the faces menu we have show and guns which is very very useful uh, for example we can see if we select this face we can see that it has um, eight vertices here so this is probably an end gone because of all those vertices here and at the end when i finish modeling usually i just go to uh, show and guns and it shows me which faces have more than four vertices it, and it's kind of important to clean this up all right so the next one is going to be split it's basically just splitting the the face okay and now let's go over to the merge menu merge at center you probably already know what it does merge distance you already know but i also add the merge last because this is quite a useful thing for example if we want to merge those two vertices together right so let's say i move this vertex over here but now the problem is that there's two of them in the same spot on top of each other so as you can see so to fix that you usually go into wireframe mode and select both of them and then you press m for merge and then at center so now both of them are connected as one single vertex uh, that's a bit uh, annoying to do so much uh, so many actions so what you can do is just click the first one click the second one the last one and then merge last and now they are completely one single vertex it's a very fast and uh, kind of useful all right delete menu is just the common delete face delete vertices dissolve edges di dissolve vertices this is very common for me to use those actions and then over here we have the flat uh, z flat y flat x what this does is if you have for example something like this or i don't know you you, you made a bit of a mistake and the faces are not aligned or whatever um usually what you would do is select the entire edge and then you press s for scale uh, what axis so z axis and then zero on your keyboard and then enter so that's quite a lot of um, key keys that you have to press. So instead, you can just select all of this and then open the menu and then flat Z on the axis that you want. And yeah, it's it's so much, much faster. 
Um, you can also add the cube in uh, edit mode because I, us I usually add that a lot. Let me show you now the separate joint. So sometimes you want to separate the face and turn it into a different object and manipulate it or whatever you want to do. And this does basically that, but it's a function that combines both the separate and the join. So uh, it's much faster and much easier for me to use it like this. So what you do is separate join. And now what this does is also maintain the center of origin of this object, but also center the origin for this object. If you, if you did it manually, you would have to also do this part. So now this object is centered here. And if we place it back and we select this object together with this one to join them together, uh, now they are joined. However, what also happens when you use my add-on is that the vertices here are also automatically getting merged with the vertices around. So you can imagine that those dots here were uh, otherwise would have been on top of each other. So this is very, very useful and extremely, extremely fast. Um, then what else do you have? You have the unwrap menu and here I added the normal unwrap for individual faces if you want, project from view and smart UV. And now if we go to open, now if we open the UV editor and let's say we want to unwrap everything smart UV for example, and we have this, we press D over here and we have more stuff but only for the UV. So in this menu if we press D we have all those and if we press it here we have all those. So a thing that I usually do, like for example, when you want to unwrap those and uh, text, add them on a texture somewhere or whatever, and they're in the same place. For example, for some weird reason, let's say you just uh, did it randomly like this. What what I can use, what I can do is press D and toggle UV sync, basically this button, and then align left. And then they, everything that's kind of the same is aligned on top of each other. So over here, uh, this is extremely fast. You'll figure it. If you, if you use this, you know what I'm talking about. However, to use this thing, you need the add-on text tools. You need to have it installed and you also need texel density. So if we have the texel density set to one over here and we select the face, then I can just press set, uh, tab, uh, set the texel density over here which basically clicks this button, but it's much faster like this. <coughs> and then we also have the um, the rotate 90. So in, instead of pressing R90, so R90, enter, we can just do it like this very fast. Uh, we also have flip vertical, flip horizontal, which is going to be on the UV map. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I will let you guys figure it out, but remember, if you want to use the set TD button and the align left, you must have those add-ons already installed, text density checker and text tools. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't bother. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you will find this useful. All right, take care. Bye-bye.